Jake here. Uh, quick short video. Basically, I'm going to be showing you how to install the configurator, a white door configurator, without actually using the white door firmware. Let's get started right away. First, you're going to go to Manage, Sources, Edit, and Add the this repository. Just hold on, let me type it. That's the first part, and then that's the second part. So add that, and then go into it. And download the configurator installer package. Now this, this doesn't automatically install it, so you're going to need mobile terminal. <laughs> So go to search and type in mobile terminal, no spaces. And then get the one with the icon that looks like command prompt icon or terminal for Mac icon. And then install that. Now, once everything is installed, you're going to go into terminal. Hold on. Let me just make this thing faster. Uh, go into terminal. And uh, it'll look like this at the beginning, but then you'll see something uh, flash and go small like that. Okay. Now you're going to type in login. Now you're going to type root. Now your password, um, default password is normally Alpine, but if yours is different, if you changed it, just type that one in. So I'll just type that in. It won't show up on the screen. So press return. Now type in forward slash installer dot sh. And press return. And a bunch of stuff will happen. And then it'll reboot. Now I will be right back and uh, I will just show you the rest. So once your device has resprung, you are going to have on your last page that's empty a an icon with the number 5 on it. Something like that. Except I've, uh, I've arranged mine because I've had mine for a while. So you're going to open it. Even though there are one of two ways to run the configurator, I'm going to start with this one. Now you'll see a big five. And you'll see all the options for your um, iTunes apps, which you can just do from there. Um, You'll have more options where you can visit the white door site and have form support, but you're just going to press start. So first we'll start with wallpapers, enable both of these, and you can scroll down and tap multitasking. Again, enable both of these, except the minimize button. That's kind of ugly. And then folders, enable both, and go to daemon removal. Now, you're going to want to enable... City auto install, push notifications. <laughs> Only enable this, the Exchange slash G Sync, if you use Microsoft Exchange Mail or Google, like Gmail. And then you can just, uh, if you have an iPhone, enable SM uh, SIM card import. Oh. <laughs> Um, you can have all this stuff. If you still use mobile me, you can enable that. Spotlight search you can have, but it slows down your device. Now press finish, press apply. I'll just press the home button. The other way is to go into settings. Uh, and then tap configurator right there. And then just choose your options and click apply at the top. 
Now it just has to respring. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, uh, please comment, tell me what you thought. Rate, subscribe if you thought if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, quick reminder: next week I will be starting my brand new how to Cydia series. This will teach you everything you need to know about jailbreak. How to add a source, how to install a package, good packages, good sources, how to get paid Cydia apps for free, and of course, everyone wants this, how to get paid App Store apps for free. I will see you guys later. Bye.